think biracial kids have a tough time everywhere. And I think the reason for that is the white people think that, you know, uh, they don't really fit in with the white people and they don't fit in with the, the black people because the black people think they're too uppity. I have one problem with marrying mixed race marriages and that is the offspring. <laughs> this person is, is speaking out of complete inexperience. He's not biracial. I, I don't know if he has any kind of contact or if he's even had any kind of dialogue with any children that are biracial. So I, w I would be speaking to him or anybody who, who thought the way that he thought from experience. I am biracial. This is the piece is under fire for denying a marriage license to a young couple because he's black and she's white and he says, and I'm quoting now, it's my right. Justice of the peace, if you're an interracial couple looking to get married, the justice says don't come here. After he refused to marry a mixed race couple. She's my best friend. And it's easy to love your best friend. There's no one better than one. She's my best friend. <laughs> you make me laugh a lot. Yeah. And we enjoy each other. Uh, born in, in that situation and that they claim that the blacks or the whites didn't, didn't accept the, the children. And I didn't want to put the children in that, um, in that position. It, to me, I always think that comes from more of a fearful place than anything. So I, I don't tend to believe that they have my well-being at heart as much as they have their need to sort of control their environment or keep people where they understand them to be. It's, it's okay to be faced with challenges growing up. It's not about, if you tried to stop a marriage based on a challenge that the offspring were going to have, you would stop generations from occurring. It just wouldn't, there's no such thing. And I can't, um, I have no, I have zero frame of reference for what Keith Bardwell's childhood was like, but I'm guessing he faced some pretty big challenges as well. And, you know, maybe the question should be put to him, like, would you be better off not existing because, you know, if somebody had kept your parents from getting married, you wouldn't have had to face the challenges that you faced growing up. Or is he happy that, you know, even certain things you wish never happened to you, they do happen to you. Is he happy to be here? He's quoted as saying he'll step down first before marrying an interracial couple. I love how she nourishes our family. And he lets me know that I am special to him. Out of all the stupid stuff, she laughs at my jokes. We just clicked. He just takes care of me. Fairly common first reason for a man, but because she could put up with me. I've always loved being biracial. I've always loved being biracial. I think it's made me more open and compassionate to, to others. I was made out of love. I was made out of love. I, I feel like I can kind of be anywhere. <laughs> like it's easy to kind of, okay, I'll hang out with this group of people or this other group of people. And my experience has been beautiful in so many ways. I feel like it's been such a blessing um, to grow up in the way that I grew up. We get to transcend all of the categories and all of the boundaries and limitations that we thought once existed. And I think that's really kind of the way of the future. And ultimately, I think the point is to dissolve all of the labels, to dissolve the categories, and to find ways that we can connect human to human. And I think that's what love and compassion and forgiveness are all about. And uh, don't worry about us. We're doing just fine, Keith. We're doing just fine. He did tell the Associated Press that he's not a racist, saying, quote, I have piles and piles of black friends. They come to my home. I marry them. They use my bathroom. I treat them like everyone else, end quote. He went on to say that children of interracial couples are often ostracized from society. Nothing simple. And coming into the world as a mixed race person, it's like, that is the first lesson, you know? It's like people are always going to ask you, well, what are you? What are you? And there's never, there's never like a straight answer to that. And I think that's a really powerful thing to grasp early on because that is like, that is what our universe is. I mean, there's just, everybody has like a complex, layered story and existence. Everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. 
<laughs> I mean, really. Love you, Keith. I love you, Keith. I love you, Keith.